Making hats for duck game is easy. Read instructions tab in Quackhead web page, found in video description, then take appropriative template, which depends on editing software you are using. Microsoft Paint isn't enough for it. I recommend free programs, like GIMP2 and Paint.net. In Duck Game Discord, you can ask for modified, more advanced template, or sprites from game, if you seek some for your hat. When creating your very own hat, you need to have some things on mind. Transparent colors in-game are acting like not the way you might intended. Remember to set up your rubber to not leave any traces of erased colors. Dot hat can be created in three sizes. 1 frame 32x32 2 frames 32x64 3 frames 32x96 First frame is for basic hat's appearance. If your dot hat file consists from only one frame, it won't have quack animation frame. Second frame represents quack animation. Here you define how your hat gonna look when quack button is holded. Third frame is special. For today, before duck game big update, if your dot hat file is larger than 32x32 or 32x64 pixels, it's not valid. If your hat is 32x96 pixels large, it won't appear in online hat selection menu, but you will be able to use it in offline mode. The third frame contains cape texture. Cape follows your duck, like a cape does often. To add some points for style, you might want to add black outline to edges of your hat. This way it looks way more natural in duck game. Shading is also good. Instead of one color for your creation, try using its shades too. Many pixel art games uses such techniques. Learning using them can make you a valuable graphic artist. After you finish drawing your hat, you have to export it as .png file. Then, depending on if you have internet connection or not. For online method, click add team on quack head page, add your hat image. Give a team name and click export as dot hat. During exporting, note how to keep letter size when choosing team name. You want to use spaces, not underlines for example. For offline method, use dot game hat compiler to export your dot png file to dot hat file. For the last, when you have your very own .hat file, paste it into Duck Game Game folder. Now you can select it through Team Select screen. Works online, without need of using any mods. Using Workshop Hats online isn't that easy, it requires all ducks in lobby to have same hat mod pack. Both hats and gamut play items go into the workshop as a mod pack, which requires you to turn off the hat mod from online random matchmaking. I will show you how to use these hats online. First of all, subscribe to it. Some more talented hat makers are already sharing their hats as dot hat files in mod description, so be sure to check. Be also aware to never open fishy links, these might be scam. If you don't know where it takes, don't go there. When mod pack is downloaded, find its folder in your Steam directory. You need to seek for .png files. These often have purple background. Remove it and replace originals with edited ones. From here, follow same steps as for exporting .png file to .hat file. If you are a hat mod pack maker, you also might want to check Hatmania mod, as it's supposed to make many things easier from online aspect. 
Mod description provides links to modified Quack head page, which supports this new mod pack standard. Yeah.